Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. It is so windy and cold out here. I guess I could put long pants on, but um, I think I'll just burn something for heat. I'll burn some fat for heat, and then when we get done with that, I'll show you how to burn some fat for light. All right, I'm simply gonna make a fat lamp and I would encourage you to check out my fat lamp playlist. There's all kinds of styles of stoves, types of fat that you can use, but basically a fat lamp will burn any plant, animal, or petroleum grease or oil. And today, since we have so much wind blowing, let's see if we can make a lamp that can shield all this wind and keep the flame burning. Normally I would take this paper off, but don't you think it would look cool if we could get this thing ignited with most of the paper still on it? I thought about getting down here a reservoir that's, you know, like three quarters of an inch deep, but only cutting a flame shaped hole right here. Will that allow enough oxygen in, I would think, for the flame to burn and then the rest of the can to shield the flame from the winds? Let's just see and a wick, you can use a cotton ball. A lot of times I'll take it and reverse wrap it. And then you can tie it into a little knot. A half hitch would be all you need to kind of make it stand up. basically going to do the same thing with that t-shirt material. You wouldn't have to know how to reverse wrap. You could take this very piece of fabric and just keep tying half inches in it and it'll build up a good enough wick for you to use. Even if you had to sort of hang the wick over the side of the container. And this is a big fat wick, so it's gonna make a big flame, burn up the oil fast. So consider that when you're making these fat lamps. You want the reservoir and the flame to hold out all night, you better make a small wick. All right, there's my loop. I'm gonna come through it twice, I think. If it'll allow me to do it. Like that. Which will make a great base for my wick. And I'm not sure what kind of autofocus we're getting out of that camera. So I'm gonna come up about half inch. Be very careful. If you wanna wear gloves, wear some gloves. <laughs> My flame shaped opening is kind of angular. All right, let's see what happens. A 
But the only thing canola oil is good for is burning up in a fat lamp. Don't keep eating this stuff, although I still eat some of it. I try to avoid all the seed oils. And, oops. Act like you didn't see that. These t-shirt wicks are very durable. So let's go ahead and use it. And it's standing straight up like it's supposed to. Need to saturate it all the way through. And the flame's gonna have to burn a little bit to start the wicking process. So let's take our time with it. We'll just work with it. And go ahead and ignite it. Oh, I'm going to burn the paper trying to get it ignited. Let's see if we can get it ignited in this sheltered area. That took much longer than I thought it would. Let's let it get hot before we try to put it back down in that stove. There it goes. <laughs> Not exactly a smooth operator on that one, but uh, we're out here doing experiments and definitely need to turn it away from the wind. And that's burning well. Right now the flame is being affected, but it's there must be swirling little currents in that can because the flame is going around that way. Let me get you set up over here and we'll try to look at it. Well, this has been very difficult to try to shoot to get on video, but we have a perfectly functioning fat lamp in about five mile an hour wind. You see those swirling currents inside that can, but it's not too much. And that emergency light source can provide you some light on a windy day in a dark area of your campsite. I'm going to leave it turned towards the wind and see what it'll do. Let me get you set back up on the tripod. That fat lamp is doing a great job in the wind. You ought to see that flame swirling now, now that so much breeze is coming in this way. Just need to better figure out a way to ignite that wick uh, because, because it is windy. You'll just have to find a sh uh, sheltered area. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all, and do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.